Hi everyone, I'm back with the question from gate 2008 exam. Just have a look. They're saying how many bytes of data can be sent in 15 seconds using a serial link with baud rate of 9600 in asynchronous mode with odd parity and two stop bits. First question is what is this baud rate? Baud rate means number of symbols that you can send in second or number of signaling events that you can send in one second. See, digital signals contain varying voltages. So some digital signal can look like this, high voltage, low voltage, high voltage, again low voltage, then high voltage. This is called a signaling event. This is called a signaling event. Voltage here is low, voltage here is high. So this is called one symbol or one signaling event. They are saying you can send 9600 such signaling events every second. Now in serial communication, in serial ports, each signaling event is capable of representing one bit. That means high voltage means one, low voltage means zero, high voltage again means one, low voltage means zero, so one, one, one and so on. That means in simple words, 9600 baud rate means 9600 bits per second if you are talking about serial communication because here we don't use any Manchester coding or differential Manchester encoding simply because we have start and stop bits for synchronizing the data okay so this is first thing that means in this question they are simply saying transfer rate or bandwidth is 9600 bits per second let me write it Now they are saying we need to send two stop bits and the parity must be odd. So with every byte of data, suppose this is one byte of data, you need to add one parity bit such that overall parity becomes odd. Okay, the thing is there will be one bit representing parity. We don't care if the parity is odd or even. And there will be two stop bits. So there are two stop bits. Now, even if they are not mentioning that start bit is used, you will assume it by yourself that there is one start bit. Because in serial link and asynchronous mode, start and stop bits are necessary. That is the only way we can synchronize the data. So for every eight bits of data, we are adding one, two, three, four. We are adding four extra bytes, sorry, four extra bits just for the purpose of synchronization and error control. That means by actually transferring 12 bits, we are sending useful data which is 8 bytes. That means one byte will be transferred in 12 bits. Okay. And in every second we can send 9600 bits. So how many useful bytes are sent in every second? That will be 9600 divided by 12 okay these many bytes useful bytes that is actual data is sent in one second they are asking about 15 seconds so just multiply it by 15 and you can see answer will be option b that is 12000 okay if you don't consider the start bit then you will be transferring one byte of data with three redundant bytes okay that means 11 bytes so you will divide this 9600 by 11 and into 15 will remain as it is so you will get answer as 13000 something okay a little more than 13000 and it is nowhere present in the options so we have to consider one start bit even though they are not mentioning in the question okay